Have you noticed something similar happen to you? Social distancing rules are lessening. You're starting to see new people again, but there's one problem. Your socializing muscle has withered up. It's like you've forgotten how to start a conversation, make a first impression, hold a discussion, and then exit the interaction without sounding awkward. Face it, we've spent so much time inside our homes that we've forgotten how to be outside it. So if you're feeling a little bit more awkward than usual, you're not alone. What happens when you don't socialize? In 1962, a French adventurer entered a deep dark cave where he lived underground for more than six months. He counted down the days as time passed with just a torch and a clock, and he could barely string thoughts together. His isolation was so bad that at the five month mark, he became so desperate for company, he tried to make friends with a mouse. The bottom line is we need to socialize, and if you don't, well, you're gonna be a bit awkward. Here's an analogy. If you take a break from an activity for a year, specifically like going to the gym, you're gonna have to slowly train those muscles back up because you haven't practiced. So think of socializing as a muscle we need to slowly rebuild. You wouldn't expect yourself to run a 5K after taking a year off of daily running, so cut yourself some slack when it comes to this. The problem with post-pandemic friendships. The thing is, the pandemic and quarantine have wiped out so many categories of friends. You probably used to have friends of friends, people you see at parties, people you bumped into around town, in the hallway, outside your cubicle, at your weekly boot camp, but you don't see them anymore. Your casual friendships have been wiped out. Here's the silver lining. This gives us an opportunity for a friendship fresh start. A fresh start is when you mentally wipe away your past history in favor of a new, current, and future circumstances. It's a reset switch. And studies have shown that fresh starts work. If you've had bad past performances, which is great for all of us, awkward recovering pandemic people. Step number one, choose your date. Like all fresh starts and changes, you need to pick a temporary landmark on your calendar. A special day maybe, something meaningful to you not, or not even meaningful at all. According to research, temporary landmarks work because they motivate us to accomplish our goals more than picking any random old date. You can try Mondays, the beginning of a month, a holiday, your birthday. It can be absolutely anything. Step number two, create a blank slate. Now, as you move on to the world, think of it as a blank slate. You've got more choices, you're more motivated, and the world seems to have more opportunities. As you begin to think about your friendships for the next few weeks, months, and years, I want you to think about who you want to have in your life. Fill in the blanks. I want more friends who... I want to spend my time with people who... I wish I knew more people who... Here's another thing you can do. Pull out a pen and divide a piece of paper into three columns. Label the first one who. These are people you want to spend time with. Long-term friends, people you want to spend the next few weeks, months, and years with. Who do you want to have in your life? Who do you want to call during that time of need? Only put people you look forward to interacting with on here. No more default friendships. These are people you've been friends with just because. You live in the same building, or maybe you just never thought about it. You just are. None of these toxic friendships, those ambivalent friends, those friends who doubt you, those friends who tear you down. And if you don't have enough people, I want you to put in types of people, people you want to meet. On the second column, put where. As you begin to get back at your friendships, you need to set yourself up for success. But one thing that I realize is that I'm not my best self at times. On a Friday night after a long week, maybe all you want to do is sit down back on the couch and watch some brainless TV. So think about where are the places and times you want to interact with people. What works better for you? Getting coffee or going on a hike? This sets you up for success and gives you an agenda. Dip your toes slowly into the pool of socializing and keep this column realistic. Finally, for the last section, the why. When you have a bad social situation or get completely turned down, do you tell yourself, I hate this, I'm going home and never coming out again? This is where the why comes in, the last column. It's so easy to forget the why, but we need to constantly remind ourselves that we need to connect to other human beings. 
We need to hear and learn from them, to share experiences, and to try to laugh together. So in this last column, make a list of at least three reasons why you'd want to bring people back into your life. What do you want to feel? What are you looking for? Is it to get accountability? Is it to get camaraderie? Is it to play more, to laugh more, to explore more things together? What is your why? Step number three, connect. If your social muscle has been visibly weakened these past months, you're not alone. The Success Beaster was here for you. We'll keep you going to make sure there's lots of content and lots of videos to help you retrain that muscle. We'll be your personal trainer. So get ready for that social marathon if and when you decide to run it. Subscribe to our channel and watch more videos just like this on people skills, self-care, communication, behavioral psychology, mental health, and more. Thank you for watching this video. I recommend checking out our people skills playlist for tips on connecting. Be sure to hit that like button and comment down below for more videos like this.